Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install plugins on your Minecraft server and making sure the version that you are installing is going to be correct for your Minecraft server. I've been getting a lot of comments asking, hey, I don't have a plugins folder or a plugin doesn't load for me. So this is just going to be a, a quick video of how to install plugins and make sure it's running on your Minecraft server version properly. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So getting started, you want to come to serverjars.com and this uh, is where you're going to be selecting server builds to get your Minecraft server running plugins folder. And so there is three different types. The one I recommend is going to be paper or paper spigot. And this is a fork of spigot. This one is just more customized, more advanced, and more performance enhancing for your Minecraft server. And so so once you are here, you, want, you can go to, and view older and you can get some of the older versions right here. But you need to use one of these three if you want to use plugins on your Minecraft server. So go ahead and install the one that you want. Let's go ahead and download the latest one and we can go ahead and download that. So for this example, I'm going to be running my server on Revive Node. If you guys want to check out this link, the link will be down in the description and on the top right hand corner of the screen. You can use my code STRIKER to get 15% off your purchase. And so if you are using a host that allows full file access, which I recommend, you can go to your file management and you can go ahead and upload your paper um, if you do want that. But I'm going to go to the version selector because it is in here as well. So we can go ahead and select the paper 1.15 auto updater. We can go ahead and hit submit and I will just go ahead and start to auto update uh, basically what the server jars does and so we can go ahead and start it and this will pretty much go ahead and load up your server and it will generate a plugins folder and we need to accept the EULA once everything starts loading up. So there is the EULA that we can go ahead and accept it and then our server should be good to go. You can run these uh, files on your own PC as well. I will leave a link down in the description. You guys can make a server on your own PC. I do not recommend it unless you're just doing it only for testing. So just be aware of that. But let's go ahead and wait for this to start up and then we'll go into our plugins. So to start getting plugins, you can come to SpigotMC, you can also download plugins from Bucket, you can also come to Sangata Marketplace, and this is also today's video sponsor. Sangata Marketplace offers the ability to find free and paid plugins for your Minecraft server, and then use plugins range from a wide variety of developers, so you can have a good selection to pick and choose for your Minecraft server. So be sure you check out the link in the description for that. And so uh, for today, I'm going to be actually testing out this Cosmetic Vaults plugin. And so as you see here is compatible Minecraft version. So it's all the way from 1.8 to 1.15. And so we also want to check if there's any dependencies. Uh, currently I do not see any dependencies that are needed. So we can go ahead and download that plugin. Then we can come over to Essentials X. And as you see this also has the same thing. Tested Minecraft versions. So let's go ahead and download that. Make sure you check the dependencies uh, on each plugin page to see if there's any. This one specifically requires Vault and this is a lot of plugins do require vault so if you come to the bucket site make sure you go to the file section first and then check whatever game version because sometimes the latest release isn't updated to the very latest version so make sure you just check game versions and then you can install it so this one is updated for 1.15 to 1.13 so let's go ahead and download that file a few other plugins that i have just to show you guys uh so as you see here is tested minecraft versions it's 1.7 to 1.14 I'm running 1.15. I don't know if this will work, um, but we can go ahead and actually download it and try it out uh, because as you see, it does not say 1.15, but it does say 1.14. So that might be close enough to make it work, but um, sometimes if it doesn't specifically say, it will not work either. So moving right along, we also have this one, a Spawner Changer. This one looks pretty cool, ability to change your uh, spawners in Minecraft. And this is only for 1.14 and 1.15, so that will work. Uh, we know that one will work for me, so let's go ahead and download that. So the very last one that we're going to be doing is this Custom Crafting, and this works on 1.13 to 1.15, we can see right there. So as you see, it's clearly stated right here that we do need Java 8, Spigot, and Wolf Utilities, and that is uh, another plugin dependency. So we can go ahead and click on that. And so make sure you check the Spigot pages because some of these will have dependencies. So I just want to make that clear. So this is what, what we have. So this one is compatible as well. So we can go ahead and download that. So now we have all these plugins. We can go ahead and just drop it in our plugins folder and then start it up. 
So let's go to our file management and this is where our plugins folder is going to be. So here it is loaded right here successfully. So now let's go ahead and pretty much we're just going to be dragging and dropping all these plugins in our plugins folder. And so um, this sh should load up pretty well. So we have our PVP stats, pop that in there. And we'll also put Essentials X in there that will upload as a zip. We'll need to decompress that later and then Cosmetic Vault. So let's just go ahead and wait for all these to finish uploading and then we can go ahead and extract the zip. Alright, so everything is uploaded, so we can go ahead and refresh, and so now we need to extract the essentials, so we can go ahead and hit decompress. So then that will go ahead and put all the jars in there, and then we can go ahead and delete the zip folder. And so, uh, there we go, we have all our plugins, so let's go ahead and start up our server, and see uh, if all of them load successfully. Alrighty, our server is done starting up, and uh, we can go and start to look through our console to see if we have any errors. So first of all, we see that one, uh, but we need to go to the very top, make sure everything is loaded in properly. So I don't see anything up here, so that looks all good. These are all our plugins enabling and loading, and so now this is loading in the world, and so that looks good. Here is the custom crafting, it did hook onto the additional dependency plugin, so that is great. Uh, so cosmetic vaults is working, and then here we have an error of pvp stats saying that the mysql is disabled so that disabled the whole plugin so um it looks like that it does need to use a database in order for this plugin to work properly and so you can easily set up a database over here on revive node just click the databases and you will get a free database and so uh, everything else seems okay the, and then we also have a big error with the essential geo ip and this is basically telling you that uh, it failed to read the geo ip database basically it's saying which country a player is joining from you don't really necessarily need that so we can actually go ahead and uh, delete that plugin and so then that will remove the error and so let's go to our plugins folder and then we don't need it the central geo ip so we can go ahead and delete that and then i'm actually going to delete the wolf utilities uh just uh pretending that you know we didn't notice that there was a dependency needed and show you guys the error for that so let's go ahead and restart the server Alrighty, so the second time around that uh, Essentials Geo IP error is uh, gone, and then we also still have that uh, MySQL is disabled. But if we go ahead and scroll up here to the very top, uh, as you see, it does say said it could not load the custom crafting in the plugins folder. And then usually plugins will tell you if it's missing a dependency, and, and as you see right here, here's the error code, and just saying it's missing wolf utilities and so that means that you know it's missing that dependency needed so all you have to do is just install it and then you're good to go so that wraps up my showcase for today of how to install plugins and reading some of your error logs so hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if it was helpful share it around to all your friends running minecraft server i will see you guys in the next video peace out